Hi everyone and welcome to the Mach 5 Boeing 737 training series. My name is Daryl and today we are going to be looking at how to complete the after start checklist, taxi out and before takeoff checklist in the Boeing 737-800. Check out the link in the description to download the Boeing 737 flight sim checklist that I'm using today as well as the Mach 5 Boeing 737 flight sim guide. On the, the Mach 5 YouTube channel or Mach 5 page on Facebook you can find all my video tutorials guides, gameplay, and other reference material to help take your own flight sim experience to the next level. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So now that our ramp crew is clear we're going to uh, do the after start checklist and that uh, is generators on, probe heat on, wing anti-ice off, engine anti-ice off, hydraulic panel set, packs auto, isolation valve auto, APU bleed off, APU off, flaps and recall is checked the after start checklist is complete so now that we have the after start checklist done we're ready for taxi we'd call uh, ground control request uh, taxi clearance uh, we're going to be departing off runway 04 right today here in Detroit um, it's just a uh, uh, standard SID runway heading to 5,000 feet so I've elected to not put any sort of lateral mode in there because once I push the toga switch on takeoff uh, heading select will come up and that will uh, actually I still have to set runway heading is just got to confirm my runway heading here is 036 degrees for runway 04 right so I'll just make sure that's set properly So we're basically uh, all set to taxi. Uh, the thing about uh, the Boeing 737 is there is a tiller here on the left. I have that mapped to my uh, my control stick twist motion, and there's the rudder pedals down here. I have that mapped to my rudder pedals and the tow brakes as well. Um, so basically, the rudder pedals will give you seven degrees of turn angle left and right and the tiller will give you 70 degrees turn angle uh, left and right so on straightaways you can use your rudder and um, once if you need to make any sharp turns uh, use the uh, use the tiller and once we are clear to taxi I will As far as external lights go, I'll put my taxi light on when it's time to taxi and uh, I'll release the brakes. By depressing the tow pedals, the park brake will snap off automatically and we can start taxi. I have to add some thrust here. Uh, it seems like about 35% uh, something around there. Uh, gets it rolling pretty good and as far as taxi speeds go if you want to monitor your taxi speed this ground speed indication down here is based off the GPS uh, that's an accurate taxi speed for you um, 20 degree or sorry 20 knots is sort of like a normal taxi you can go up to up to 30 knots on a straightaway and um, if you're going to make any 90 degree turns, you want to be at least uh, 10 knots or less. And 
I did the after start checklist and started taxiing. Uh, if you were in a, uh, if there were other aircraft around, I'm just uh, on here by myself today. If there was other aircraft around, I might uh, complete the uh, before takeoff checklist uh, also right away uh, after pushback, right after I complete the after start checklist. And uh, that way I'm not, because uh, it's kind of difficult to do while you're taxiing. You know, being a single-player game, um, if you if you're in a on here uh, on your own, like I am today, you can also complete the before uh, takeoff checklist, holding short of the runway, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. our runway coming up so what I'm gonna do is uh, taxi up and hold short of runway 04 right and we'll complete the before takeoff checklist and then we'll go and do our takeoff break and my before takeoff checklist so we'll verify auto brakes RTO auto throttle armed takeoff data set uh, for takeoff data I'm just basically gonna have a quick look on my PFD here I've got my V2 speed set, the auto throttle's armed, I have my uh, lateral mode is blank because when I push toga I'm going to get heading select. If I was doing an RNAV sit I may want to arm the LNAV at this point. I have VNAV armed uh, and 5,000 feet is my uh, altitude that I'm cleared to on the departure. The altimeter is set correctly. And I have uh, my heading set to runway heading. Weather radar is off. Terrain display, I'm going to leave that off as well. And transponder, I'm going to put to T-A-R-A. -A and the uh, before takeoff checklist is complete. 